Hello everyone and welcome to Day Trader S&P 500. This is Dale Woodson, editor of Woodson Wave Report and Day Trader S&P 500. Today is Monday, August 15. It is a little bit past uh, 1 p.m. Central Time. We're going to take a little dive uh, step by step from top down on the uh, E-minis today. Okay, I want to start though today with... Um, with something we haven't talked about in a little while, and that's our Fibonacci time spirals. Remind you guys of the one I originally did back in 1999 that first caught the low, uh, 55 plus one Fibonacci days later, then caught a series of not every, but virtually every high for about mm, seven years, a little seven years and three months later so uh, that worked we have our Fibonacci time spirals uh, I've been continuing to do that I want to let you guys know that uh, I'll be talking about those Fibonacci time spirals on our Elliott Wave hub which will be Wednesday at uh, noon Eastern there will be uh, six five or six presenters there all doing Elliott Wave lots of uh, free offers for you guys and uh, um, discounts and things like that so that's uh, Wednesday I've got the registration I know this link doesn't work but I have the registration down in the uh, description if you can't watch it live you can watch it uh, recorded make sure you register get your email address in there and you can watch it uh, later on recorded okay let's get into the uh, ES if you will there we are this is the daily chart and you can see we have five waves down here for the A with the parentheses. And currently, the market is in wave B up. There's the larger wave B. There are the targets there. And you can see it's past the 50% uh, retracement. There's the next one at the 43.61, 45.58. It's no longer B. Well, I guess it could be an expanded flat B if it goes above the start of wave A, which is 48.08. 0.25. That's the big picture. Like I said, we're going to work our way down. We have this A here uh, in red and parentheses, and we've got in black lowercase a, lowercase b, or it could be labeled one, two, three. I have both counts right there, and lowercase c in parentheses. So let's drill down here. That's a daily. We're going to look at an hourly. Looking from for from that B wave low, you can see we've got a one up, a two down, a three up, a four down. And we're looking for five to complete the C. These are larger degrees of trend and a larger wave B, which we showed you back there. Okay. And you can see I've got this broken down within. So we go from the last fourth wave. Okay. And then we've got a one up, a two down, a three up, a four down. And we're looking at that five in red. Okay. That's what we're looking at. For our subscribers, we know that we need a move below these previous lows to signify a change in trend to the downside nowhere near that yet we're still looking for that to go up we had a target here 4286 this morning in our report and it's moved above that but we can break this down and even see uh, what we're looking at okay so from this 714 July 14th low I think we're gonna look next uh, if we get down from the hourly to a 10 minute I believe we'll look at the 41 03 <clears throat> excuse me 75 low there it is there we're on a 10 minute here we've got a one up a two down three up a four down and we're breaking this move up from that fourth wave low see in very small print a one two three four and then five okay so what we're looking at here is where is the wave five target from this one that very small one that two that three here's four Five equals one. That's where we got our target at 42.86. I think it hit right around 4,300 today so far. 4,301.50 it looks like. There's higher Fibonacci targets above. 4,309.50, 4,321.50, 4,338. Okay, to complete this five and this five and then that B and that C. So that's what we're looking at there. By the way, I want to point out that. Um, in our new, we called it low risk, high reward, but for the trading service, it's called measured risk, projected rewards. We're trying to catch a lot of times these fourth waves are buttoned right up to the wave one high. And you know, an Elliott wave, wave four cannot go below the wave one high. So we get these fours either way. In this case, we would want to get long. 
with a stop just below here and that the other if it's going down it's just the opposite so there's your risk in this particular case it's 4203 and I believe this was 41 I think it was 88 if I'm not mistaken you know that's 12 uh, 14 points risk to what do we get up here o over 80 and counting 90 and counting so that was a, a good opportunity there and you can see we've got that in our um, auto trade futures with uh, striker I think I have that in there I'll wait for that to come up I'm having uh, gonna have to upgrade uh, my memory and uh, upgrade my Windows operating system I'm gonna wait till after the uh, the Wednesday uh, presentation to do so we'll come back there okay but that's what we're looking at here uh, that's a one minute chart okay let me uh, let me get even further okay we're going from daily to hourly to 10 minute to one minute so we're looking at that 420275 I believe I may have that there let me get rid of all this stuff and there's where we've got that A B C D and here we've got a one two you can see three gained equality with one there so I'm gonna put this uh, pattern in there if you will okay there's a a one a two a three and we're still looking for four and five these targets here are wave three let's just do this live here okay so we would look for a retracement of wave three four wave four it almost was a perfect one-to-one -one. you can see right there is 4287 and a quarter 4283 and that's right about where that wave one high is that's another risk to re risk reward low risk high reward or measured risk projected rewards that high is 4284 this comes down and hits 4283 it hasn't yet but when it does you'd have a chance to go long there with a stop right below the wave one high sometimes on a one minute chart especially they'll overlap by a point maybe less so you got to watch your stops there but uh, let me uh, do this on a one minute I like to use this for entries and exits and you can see where a B oh look at that perfection let me put that in there for you guys real quick this will be an a down a B up and a C down C equals a right there on that Fibonacci retracement at 4287 we've got another one right there at that oh boy they're all scrunched up there let me see I think it's 4283 and 83 and a quarter you can see it right there okay that's where you get the uh, measured risk uh, projected rewards okay so that would be a good spot to go long right there with the stop below there and again uh, we would see that on the striker you can see that down in the description too okay want to remind you guys uh, don't forget about the uh, Elliott Wave Hub on Wednesday again look down in the uh, subscription or the description part and I will be visiting a more recent update of the Fibonacci time spirals here. Like I said, the very first one I did uh, gave us most turning points for highs for seven years. I haven't had one work that long since, but we got several we're working on. I'll update that on uh, Wednesday's presentation. Let's leave you guys with this here this one out this morning let me show you this real quick on the uh, market open report uh, before the market open between 8 and 8 30 you can see there's the Elliott wave hub and there's where we're looking for this four pullback okay that's the larger wave one anyway it came right in here between the 3d2 and the 500 before it went up and uh, from that low I think we saw that it gained nearly 80 points there 90 points from 02 to 01 that's about 100 points and the risk was 12 14 so 100 to 14 not bad ratio there that's what we're looking at okay all right let's end with the uh, bigger wave picture here there we go that's what we're looking at here we'll see where this goes and until next time take care everyone